how to avoid taxes legally in the U.S. Do this now. Are you ready to stop overpaying in taxes? Did you even owe money? You're like, how is that possible? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you some real secrets on what you can do right now, not if you're a billionaire, but if you're a regular person. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. You gotta get it done, or you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. So let me start off by saying I am not a CPA, I'm not a certified public accountant, I am not a tax attorney, I am just a successful entrepreneur that's going to tell you some great things that you can do to avoid paying taxes the way that I used to and some things that my accountant has shared with me. But again, you may want to get your advice and your guidance from your tax professional before you take action on any of the things that I say. Let's get into it. So this video is for people that make less than $400,000 per year. Literally, I have advice if you make over a million, but most of my audience, I know you're not making more than a million dollars per year. And in fact, if you are, you really should not be getting that in income. You should have figured out by now how to move that money into your business so that is not showing as personal income to you. So I am talking to the majority of people making less than $400,000 per year. If you are making less than $400,000 per year, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a professional person doing your taxes. I see so many people that love going to H&R Block and Jackson Hewitt, and again, I am not endorsed by anyone to make this video, and I am not going to say anything except my opinion. I do not think that H&R Block and Jackson Hewitt and some of these franchise tax prepares really do the best job with getting you the best deductions. Many of the people just took a course and they are now doing your taxes and trying to get you to take one of those loans that they offer for tax refunds. That's usually what they are. They're mostly salespeople. They're paid a commission for that. That's the truth. I'm sorry if you want to comment below that you don't like that, but that is the truth. So let me tell you what you need to do. So number two, after you've gotten your professional tax person and you know who's going to do your tax returns, now the second thing that you need to do is check your 1090. B's. So in many cases, you will get what's called a 1099B that is for any of the different investments that you made. If you invested in the stock market or you did any investments, they sometimes, the bank, you know, TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab or um, uh, Robin, I forget what they're called, Robin somebody, they will send you what's called a 1099B and this will outline how much money you made or lost on the year from your investments. But in many cases, I have seen where these documents are missing information. And what information is usually missing is how much you paid for that original stock. So in many cases, if you paid uh, $10 for it and it went to $20, then of course you had a $10 gain on each share that you bought. But in many cases, this information is completely blank on what you bought it for. So they will just put zero and now you're paying taxes or gains on the entire $20 instead of $10. So make sure that you are actually looking at the document and getting these documents corrected before you file your taxes. Because I've seen so many people overpaying when they gave a document to that tax professional and it just was not complete. So look at it, make sure it has what you paid for the original price for that stock or those shares and not just how much you sold it for. Did you know that 89% of all millionaires were created so through real estate? And did you know it is so much better to own your own business than to work for someone else's business? Trust me, I know. Yeah, working for somebody else can get you a paycheck, but working for yourself builds you a legacy. Join Noel Randall Coaching where we create entrepreneurs. Go from employee to entrepreneur in just a matter of months. You can do it, I did it, and I'm gonna help you. Let's do this together. Let's go. Number three commuter expenses. So many people miss out on this amazing tax deduction. If you ride public transit, the train, the bus, um, or even Uber, Lyft, things like that, you can deduct up to $300 per month for commuter expenses, and that's $3,600 per year if you do the math, if you do it every single month. Most of us probably do spend $300 per month on commuter expenses, but most of us do not take advantage of this tax deduction. Make sure you're keeping track of it, and more importantly, make sure you mention it to your tax professional so that you get that tax deduction. Number four. IRAs. Many of us do not have an IRA, which stands for Individual Retirement Account. 
but I strongly suggest that you open one up. I recently opened one up for myself because I would just put money away for my retirement, but I did not have an IRA myself. Well, what I did was open up a traditional IRA and then the next day I transferred over into a Roth IRA. I'm not gonna get into all of the specifics here because I actually do make a lot of money. So I actually have a lot of investments that I don't wanna make sure that I'm not paying all those taxes on. So I'm able to take money out of my IRA and invest it in things and then put that money back. This way I can invest way more than the maximum for 2023, the maximum that you could invest into an IRA was $6,500, and for 2024, it's $7,000. Well, if you make a lot of money, that's not really a lot of money to save each year. For some of you, that may be a great amount, and that's good, but some of you may want to save even more, or you may even want to take profits from your investment. Maybe you invested in a business, or maybe you flipped a house, and you wanna put that directly into your retirement account. That is what you should do. Again, get with your tax professional to see if this works for you, but many of you are missing out on this great tax, you know, I guess it's a way to shield you from all of those tax consequences if you can put money and use your IRA to invest in different businesses and different stocks, even real estate. Number four, invest in your retirement accounts. If you work a job and you are offered a 401k, you are foolish not to invest in that. That is pre-tax dollars. In many cases, employers are matching that. And in many cases, you literally can pull that money out to buy a home. They have created more carve outs for people to be able to access their money in their 401k. And it is a great way to start getting tax, to, to reduce your tax liability, okay? So make sure you are utilizing your 401k or your 403b if you work for like a public company or government, make sure that you are actually taking advantage of all of those different retirement accounts. Don't be foolish, it will actually lower your tax liability. Number five, gambling losses. If you've been to the casino, you've probably received a W-2G. This is where they will tell you about the money that you've won, even if it's just a few thousand dollars. But where most people mess up is they literally forget to give it to their tax professional, but more importantly, they're taxed on these winnings, but they forget about all of the losses. I'm sure if you went to the casino, you did not just win the first time that you went there and that was all that happened. You probably have lots of losses and those are tax deductions. You wanna make sure that you're offsetting the winnings because again, they're giving you a W-2, they're telling the IRS that you got this money, but they're not telling the IRS about all of the money that you lost. So make sure that you get this tax deduction and tell your tax professional about the losses so that you could offset any of the winnings. Do not take gambling winnings and just pay taxes on it. That is you getting double penalized because I know people that gamble and I promise you, none of them went to the casino one time and won and that was the end of it. Number six, HSAs, health savings account. I'm not gonna get into a really long thing, but a health savings account is an account that you can put for medical deductions, medical insurance, but it's if you have a high deductible on your health insurance. This is a great way if you're self-employed or if you have a high deductible for you to actually save money on your taxes. Ask your tax professional about a health savings account and even ask them about a flexible saving account, which is a FSA, and you can use those accounts to pay for daycare whether it be a child or even adult daycare and different expenses like that. And again, it will reduce your tax liability. Number seven, capital losses. So many people forget about the money that they've lost through the year. I'm not a big crypto person, but I know tons of people that actually lost money on crypto. And for some reason, they don't realize that this is a tax deduction. You invested in something, you took real money, it lost money, that's a tax deduction for you. You literally can get those losses and get some of that money back by recouping that with a tax deduction. If you invested in anything, whether it even was a stock loss, make sure you are taking advantage of those losses and not paying taxes on them and getting a tax reduction for the money that you invested because again, the government wants you to invest. They want you to buy stocks. They want you to buy shares. They want you to invest in companies. And so they reward you even if you lose money through the tax system. Take advantage of it. And last but not least, start a business. I am a serial entrepreneur, real estate millionaire, entrepreneur, speaker, mentor, author, mama five, and so much more. But more importantly, I have a business and that is one of the best ways that you can save on your taxes. Literally, even if you have a side hustle, you can file what's called a Schedule C and all of the different money that you spent creating the business or making a website or buying wardrobes or inventory, any of those expenses, you can actually write off. Because most people will have a small 
small business, maybe they're a sole proprietor, and again, you don't even have to have a LLC or a S Corp or a C Corp filed with the state in order to put this on your taxes. Again, it's recommended that you get your business registered with the Secretary of State, but you don't have to. Even if you were doing a side hustle like doing hair or cutting grass or something like that, you can create a Schedule C on your tax form and create losses from you know, your actual expenses that you, you did, and this will create a lower tax liability for you. So many people miss out on this tax deduction, and this is a way to avoid paying taxes legally, not illegally, legally and ethically through our system. Schedule C, or again, you can get your business registered with the Secretary of State, and that can also be a deduction, but you don't have to. All you have to do is prove and keep track of your expenses and different things that you invested in for your Schedule C sole proprietor business. As you know, readers are leaders, and I want to help you. You can get all four of my books absolutely free. You just cover the shipping. Go to noellesbookoffer.com and get all four of my books, Amazon bestsellers that have been helping change lives. And again, supplies are limited. Go there right now. That's noellesbookoffer.com. N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E with an S, book, B-O-O-K, offer, O-F-F-E-R.com, noellesbookoffer.com. Get all four of my books shipped directly to you, even with a gift, so that you can start investing in yourself by reading, getting great knowledge, starting a business. I teach you how to do that, even how to get business funding and business credit so that you can take yourself to that next level. Readers are leaders, and you can be one too with noellesbookoffer.com. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle. To your success.